Good morning everybody, Lone Wolf Rick here. And it's a very nice morning this morning. A little bit of a breeze, but uh, not too bad. Currently it's about 60 degrees out here. It's supposed to get to about 73 today here in Vegas. So I hope everybody uh, is having a great day and the weather's okay where you're at. I kind of started here because I wanted to talk a little bit about the Oyo. Did you know that the Oyo is actually a chain of hotels? It was founded by a gentleman in India. And, uh, you know, you always see those little videos or video clips about the Oyo. And, you know, it's maybe the worst hotel in, in Las Vegas. And, you know, and well, it's... It could, it could use some work. It's like, I'll admit that. But this gentleman has built an empire on properties kind of just like this. He has um, over 43,000, that's right, 43,000 hotels in his chain, the Oyo chain. And he um, has over 1 million rooms in 80 countries. You know, I didn't realize, to be honest with you, until, I don't know, a little while back, that the Oyo, I just thought it was like an individual property here in Vegas. But uh, it is, he's built quite an empire, quite a hotel empire, 43,000, over 43,000 hotel properties. Most of them, they say they're set up for the budget-minded customer, for the budget-minded traveler. Look at it, the last laughs at the Tropicana. So there you go. As they get ready to wind down, they get it uh, shows till the 31st of March there, it shows. Take a look at some of the uh, they're moving in more heavy equipment here to the uh, to the Tropicana as they get ready to uh, start to wind it down here. The jet taking off over there past Mandalay Bay. But you see this back parking lot back here is pretty empty. As I'm sure they're probably keeping people out of there from like parking back there, you know? He's a player of football with a uh, that full Gatorade bottle. So this will be my last video for uh, from Las Vegas for a few days. As tomorrow I'll be heading to uh, Heading to Anaheim, California. I think I'm going to show you something maybe a little bit different. Uh, hopefully this weekend. Now, the weather's supposed to be bad. Yeah, same as Las Vegas Saturday. It's supposed to rain here. And then in Anaheim, they're showing rain on Saturday and Sunday. Was Saturday supposed to be fairly heavy rain from what they're showing? So, I was hoping to do a couple of location shots while I was there. Uh, some of the old town, uh, you know, areas of old town, maybe Orange and, and maybe one or two other ones, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get to do that or not. The, the tourist helicopters are out at full force today.
but we'll see. We'll see what, what I'm able to uh, able to do. And I booked going to the convention on the, both Friday and Saturday. I was only going to go on Friday. And then I saw I saw the rain in the forecast on uh, for Saturday. And I was like, well, I don't want to I don't want to sit in the hotel room all day. So I ended up uh, buying a pass for Saturday also for the convention. So I've actually got passes for two days, Friday and Saturday. But I'm hoping the weather is uh, kind of cooperates a little bit. I'd like to do a couple of various of videos there. You know, I'm, since I'm on this history kick of uh, trying to do all the uh, old town areas and stuff to show all the history of those properties, you know, the old buildings and everything. And I thought since I was there, there's a, there's a couple of pretty cool places. It's like down around the Anaheim area. But we shall see. Tomorrow starts uh, baseball season. I'm excited for that. A little major league action. My Cardinals will be in Los Angeles taking on the Dodgers. The, the high payroll Dodgers. Take a look at those hotel rooms back there. Those ground level ones. The original hotel rooms. This guy over here looks pretty comfortable, huh? I know I mentioned this kind of the other day that I was talking about the Tropicana, but you know, after the property closes, they will keep some staff on the, on duty. Um, you know, engineering maintenance staff and security staff. Got to make sure there's no like major leaks or anything like that, you know, happens or nobody breaks into the property, which you know, it's Las Vegas, so uh, people would probably try to do. You can see these palm trees, they're just kind of letting them go. They're not... Uh, Looks like they're not even maybe watering them or anything. Oh yeah. So they're all kind of getting in a bad shape there. Which doesn't make any sense because I mean these palm trees are worth uh, thousands of dollars. They could actually resell them. Maybe they just need to be pruned up a little bit. Yeah, definitely. 
to get Tropicana Westbound closed off right there at the uh, at the strip. I think you can go that way to get to New York, New York. And then that's as far as you can go. You can turn into the parking garage there. And then that's it. That's the uh, continuing working over that flyover. As I conclude this video, I'm going to head over to uh, either Ross or Burlington and uh, see if I can find me a new backpack. Get ready to do my trip in style, you know, in a, in a new backpack. Kind of weave them away and get it out of people here. Put a few people out and about walking today, this morning. That's a good thing, I guess. Alrighty, everybody. I think it's going to do it for this video. I guess I head into one of these stores here to see if I can find a new backpack here. I'm no more freak. Thank you very much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. Please hit that thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. Helps our videos out. Helps keep them visible in that YouTube universe there. Hit that subscribe button. That helps my ego out. And I will see everybody in the next video. Be sure to watch my videos from Anaheim. Now, even if you're not a even if you're not a comic book geek, then you might find something that uh, you might find fun there. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody.